Hey guys, it's Anime Psycho here, back with another video. Today we're doing What If Naruto and Ichigo Were Twins, B.E. Bleach Edition. We're gonna do a Naruto edition after we finish the Bleach edition. So, let's get started. So how this is gonna work is, Kushina is gonna be born into, she's gonna be born as a human, so that Ichigo and Naruto still have that human soul reaper typey thingy so yeah so kushina is just gonna be a human with tons and tons of spirit compression like hi like i'm talking hanali you talk way too long lebron just trying to do a video like we're talking high soul reaper level like she can match some soul reapers no, let's scratch that. She's gonna be a Soul Reaper. Kushina is a Soul Reaper. Their father is a Soul Reaper. And yeah. So they're of pure line. They're straight Soul Reaper, you feel me? But they both have a beast within. Naruto obviously has the Nine Tailed Fox inside of him, which gives his Zangpakuto, Karami Mabu, Karam, Karama Maru, which. So I get to, yeah, Konamamaru, which gives him, you know, some, you know, some good properties, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they're pure blood soul rebirths. So, his Zonpakuto is going to have nine forms. Most of them are controlled by his bloodlust, but two of them are not. Two are controlled by his, uh... They gain their strength from his friendship and his love of his family. So, for most of his life, he lived. And the reason they were regarded, him and Ichigo were regarded as prodigies, because they were son of Ishin and Kushina Kurosuke. Yeah. I feel like I said the last name right. Is Kurosuke or Kurosaki? Okay, you know you know the last name, bro. One of the two most formidable soul reapers of all time, other than the captain himself. And both of them were captain level, but never became captains. So, it was always Naruto's dream to surpass his father. And when they turned 10, they left the soul society to go live on earth because some stuff happened and they just decided to move out of the soul society for a little bit but they promised they would be back within 10 years so first things first oh let me stretch real quick first things first is um naruto meets Orihime before Ichigo and he falls in love with her at first sight and Orihime falls in love with him so let's keep going because you know we got to keep this going Ichigo meets Orihime after Naruto and they become great friends and now I'm just showing some images of some swords to let you know what Naruto's Zanpakuto could possibly look like all right, all right. So, so yeah. So, uh, she fell in love with Naruto, and Ichigo was a great fan of Orihime. Now, now they became great friends, and, Ch and with Chad. Now, Naruto and Ichigo have always kept their training up, even once they came to the world of living. Because they know one day they will soon have to return. Now, Yuzu and Karin are born before they leave the Soul Society. I'm gonna say four years before they leave the Soul. No, five years before leaving the Soul Society, Yuzu and Karin are born. So they'll be around. 14 or 15 when they go back to the soul society now i don't know much about the soul society but they do know that they're from a high standing family and 
they don't have to become soul reapers if they don't want to because that's not something that their family forces on the children. She just knows that her two brothers dreamed of becoming soul reapers. Now, we're going to fast forward around five years. One day, Ichigo and... Ichigo and... uh, I'm sorry, bro. Okay. Ichigo and Naruto are just walking down the street when they are attacked by a hollow. They say, I knew! I knew what I knew! I should have got a soul candy so I can't. Oh, I hate this! It's like, and Ichigo says, Brother, it's okay. We'll beat him. Even if we're not using our, even if we're not using our soul candy, we still have 10 years of training. Installed in us, so we can beat this hollow. And basically, Rukia comes up, senses their spiritual pressure, senses that they are of the Serete, and basically slaps both of them, unlocking their soul reaperness. Now, two swords come off Naruto's back as one big sword is on Ichigo's back. Ichigo's like, You ready now? Wait a minute, Naruto. Someone knocked our souls out of our bodies. Oh, this is going to be amazing. You ready, Naruto? E- and Naruto, yes. Let's go, Ichigo. And they basically charge at this dude. At this man. And destroys him. Which activates the bloodlust within Naruto. Because he killed his first Hala. Which awakens Kurama. And this all get put back inside of his body. Now, Karama is like Ichigo's hollow. You feel me? So, yeah. So, for months and months, they are fighting and growing as, you know, as they should. And then, Rukia is called back for what she was in the actual story as a traitor and she's about to be executed and she goes back to the soul society as her brother you know him you the great captain yeah captain and renji go and get her but renji is accompanied by ikaku ikaku is accompanied because they Heard that there are, that the Kurosuki, the Kurosuki family is also there, and you need to bring back the two sons of the. Now, how you got them boxing gloves on? <sighs> Go back and have a TT. What? Yeah. Go back and have a TT. So, pink. yeah, pink. 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 Mm-hmm. No, mommy. No. Yeah, that's pink. That's pink. Pink. Anyways, so like I was saying. Pink. Nala, bye bye. Take her, get her. Dude, what is she doing? Throwing boxing gloves at me. Okay. I can't even make a video. Good grief. Nala, go go in there with TT. Go in there with TT. Go in there with Tay. So back to the what if. So, um, like I said, they have to bring the two sons of the Kurosuki clan back. Basically, what that means is Ichigo and Naruto will be forced to go back to the Soul Society or the Serite. So. Uh, first thing they do is they uh, they find Naruto and uh, Ichigo, which is a couple months later. After you know what I'm saying, they uh, unlock their uh, soul reaper forms. And no, they're not substitute soul reapers at this time. They had actually become full fledged soul reapers at the age of ten. They were low ranking, but they were still soul reapers. So, yeah. Uh, Ichigo falls in love with Rukia. By the way. So, yeah. 
so. They do the... Now, Renji pulls up, and Renji and Ikaku pull up trying to fight uh, Naruto and Ichigo. But Orohime is uh, coming because she felt something, and she felt that it, she felt as if Naruto, the man that she loves, was in danger. Now, Ikaku says... I'm so glad I get to fight someone of a clan. Kenpachi never told me I would be able to kill you. Kill me. Oh, so I guess it's like that. Naruto yells. Karamasuki. Second form. And his second form is his wind form. Basically gives him some control, somewhat control over the wind, and yeah, he's similar to uh, Giku's. So what he does is he starts fighting Ikaku, and they are pretty similarly matched. Until Ikaku actually uses his Zangpakuto instead of you know its base form, which is just a sword. He says, "Extend." And now the fight has begun. Ichigo is to fight Renji. And Ichigo is not holding back. He's fighting. And he almost defeats Renji. But Renji actually just gets behind him using slap step. And basically knocks him out. And he goes to help Ikaku. And he throws a beam, but Ikaku tells him to stay back. He tries to stop the beam, but it ultimately hits Naruto. Now, they're taking them back to the Serite upon this time. And Orihime jumps in the gate. And Chad jumps in right behind her. If you don't realize this, we're trying to get uh, the uh, Rukia saving arc done. So, they go, <sighs> and they try to save Rukia, and Yuzo and Kari tells their father that they can't sense their brother's spiritual pressure anymore, and Kushina said that a couple minutes before Yuzu and Karin and Ishin said I know where they've gone they've returned to the Soul Society I knew that they would do this one day but I didn't think it would happen now we had five more years before they came for all four of you what do you mean all four of us all four of you are of the Kurosuke clan but you're also of not so much a low-ranking clan, but a clan that isn't as high as the Kurosuke, the Uzumaki. You guys are, no matter what, your heirs. Because I'm going to say there are two seats. <laughs> clan, so like no matter what, your heirs. Ah, man. Ah. So, yeah. Uh huh. So, uh, they get there and they're placed into a cell. But for some reason, they get out of the cell. It's Renji helping them out of the cell to go save Rukia. Now, I'm going to give my boy Ichigo and my boy Naruto a little booster. I'm going to say they activate their inner beast uh, once fighting a tough opponent. Naruto gets Kenpachi, mm -hmm. and they don't even use Bankai yet. They don't know how to use Bankai. But Naruto technically doesn't need his bunk need to even try to activate Bankai yet, because with his uh new form... With this, uh, hollow mode, if you will. Hollow. 
Uh, it's holification. Sure. He's going to fight Kenpachi. And Kenpachi immediately sinks in the spirit energy of an air. Says this is going to be a great fight. And he opens his eye. Basically, you know, moving the eye patch. Making Ichigo basically dodge and dart away. Which makes him run into Ikaku. And Ikaku says, since I'm in the Serete now, I don't have to hold back fighting you. This time, I'm going to kill you. And Kimpachi says, now, don't hold back, Ikaku. And Ikaku says, of course not, Kimpachi. This fight, it means a lot, seeing as though if I kill him, if I kill the air, <laughs> it'll just be a good fight, Kimpachi. And then, of course, the lieutenant yells, Kenny, who are we fighting? And, of course, Naruto answers, me. First son. First son of the Kurosuke clan, Naruto Kurosuke. And now, let's go. And he's fighting Kenpachi. And Kenpa Kenpachi is just dodging. And then he takes his first slash. Which puts a big slash over Naruto. And Naruto, feeling this scar, goes into a bitter rage, unlocking his hollow inside or Kurama, and hollifying for the first time, going berserk, going against Kenpachi, defeating Kenpachi, but not being able to ultimately kill him. And he goes after Ikaku next, but Ichigo tells him, stand down. This is my fight. I have to prove myself now. So he fights, uh, he fights the boy, you feel me? Uh, by the way, I have like three or four videos that did not finish filming. <sighs> Which I need to finish filming. So, well, I finished filming, I just need to finish them overall. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, he fights, uh, Ikaku. And Ikaku didn't hold back. And just like what happened to Naruto, he got slashed and unlocked his holification. Now, his holification... Uh, it was a little different than Ichigo's. Ichigo's was more of pure, uh, of, a uh, pure than, uh, Naruto's. But we're not going to speak on that right now, right this second, right this minute. So, it was a little more pure. And he actually defeated Ikaku. And... The lieutenant of Squad 11 said, Well, you beat Kenny. I guess I have to let you through. Bye. I'm going to go get some sweets. And she goes get sweets. My voice acting is terrible, my guy. Like, honestly. So, yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And that's the video, boys. That's literally the video. That's a great video. Like, comment, share, subscribe.